walked into the Port Authority and allegedly drove away with a bus. Now there are questions about who's keeping watch of a major transit hub. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. Now, thankfully, it was just a thrill ride and not part of a terror plot. But the theft of a Greyhound bus is raising concerns about security at the Port Authority bus terminal. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more. Inside the Port Authority bus terminal, the talk at Gate 72 was about the Greyhound bus stolen from here the day before. It's dangerous for a person to just take the bus. Matter of fact, he could have took the bus with people on the board like he was a the driver. There were no passengers on the 56 seat bus when cops found it in Brooklyn. Just legendary transit trickster Darius McCollum busted dozens of times for commandeering buses and subway trains. He has an amazing ability to pull something like that off. Investigators say Darius McCollum entered the bus terminal around 1 o'clock Wednesday afternoon intent on stealing a bus but not dressed as a bus driver. He allegedly had a law enforcement badge pinned to his shirt and a phony Homeland Security ID card. A veteran bus driver told me off camera he's not surprised McCollum was able to get past Greyhound workers at the gate. If he looks legit and has an identification and shows him some kind of fake ID it's pretty much easy to get in. If the driver is not securing his bus it's pretty easy Easy to get into a bus and start. And McCollum said to have an encyclopedic knowledge of all things transit related. Well, he no doubt knew the early afternoon was a good time to strike. There's no one around, and it's pretty easy to get one at that time. A Port Authority source says police do random checks at the bus terminal, but Greyhound and other carriers are supposed to lock their buses if they're left unattended. Greyhound wouldn't comment on the investigation other than to say the company is cooperating. In Midtown, Tony. ILO CBS 2 News. McCollum claims to have commandeered and taken more than 100 buses for joy rides over the past 30 years. His arraignment on this most recent charge has been delayed until later tonight.